comes off Till the lights go out Till my legs give out Can't shut my mouth Till the smoke clears out And my heart progress I'ma rip this shit Till my bones collapse Till the roof comes off Till the lights go out Till my legs give out Can't shut my mouth Till the smoke clears out And my heart progress I'ma rip this shit Till my bones collapse uh. Nah, 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 something has to be said. This video is not your usual Fantasy Premier League video, but bear with me. If you're a fan of the channel and you're a fan of FPL today, then please watch this whole video because someone needs to be called out and we're going to do it right now. Now, if you don't know, I have another channel. It's called JNO. And on that channel, I play games, but I also took the creative license to do some football videos. And I also did uh, what was a very popular video for the channel size, which was a video about YouTube money, about how YouTubers use Patreon and how they try and make YouTube a living. And it was quite a popular video. It polarized opinions. It got me some attention. This is going to be a similar video to that. So if you saw that, you might enjoy this. But we need to speak about the FPL community and the way it is right now. Now, don't get me wrong. I get on with the majority of people in the FPL community. There's a few people that I don't really talk to in it but I've got no issues with them. But there's one channel that I have to say something about, and this is that video. No, 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 who and what and where, who and what and where. But to start off, I need to just explain to you a few things about how YouTube works, how YouTube is for FPL content creators. For me, I've been doing FPL YouTube for just over two years now, and I've just hit over 4,000. It's not something that has grown very quickly, and there's only really one channel that has shown massive growth to kind of give us all hope and that's FPL Tips who's now up something like 40k subscribers. Apart from that most channels have hit around the 5k mark. There is Let's Talk FPL who has risen very quickly in a year he's got to 5k but the majority of channels it's quite slow growth and the community has a lot of great content creators. It's got FPL TV, it's got Kurt Joy, Nim Freer, Zane Muller, the FPL family, Let's Talk FPL, Fantasy Football Manager, Fantasy Football Scout, FPL Updates, Kenyan YouTube Trends, Ollie Pot, SP3 Fantasy Football Tips, Fanta Sway Premier League and a lot more. Some have gone, some have continued, some I've lost contact with. But there's a lot of people in this community making videos about Fantasy Premier League. And we make videos every week and we only have, during the whole season, a small period where we can make videos that really have an impact. Because once the game week is over, our videos usually are outdated and no longer useful to anyone. So what happens in that week period is vitally important to us because unlike gaming videos, we can't just pump out videos and expect them to do well over time. They have a week time frame to do very well and that's it. We are a small community with a limited audience. The only FPL tips has really grown to a size where it shows that there is major growth in this community and someone has come along and is messing it all up. No, 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 who and what and where, who and what and where. The channel name is Fantasy Premier League Tips. Now that's a great channel name, don't get me wrong. It delivers on a very highly searched four keyword term that is gonna get hit by a lot of search. There's a reason I changed my channel to FPL Today and focus on Fantasy Premier League. And that's because for YouTube, you want your channel to be easily findable and when it's found, you know straight away what that channel is. This channel started two months ago. Guess how many subscribers it's got? It's got almost 4,500 and it's done 88 videos in two months. Two months, that's about 60 days. That's more than one video every single day. Now, don't get me wrong. I've got no problem with doing daily content. I've done 30 days of FPL twice. It's a great strategy to get lots of videos out there and a couple of them will do really well and get eyes on your channel. Now, what I'd usually say to this channel is hats off to you. Well done. You found the secret formula. You've outgrown me in two months. Well played, sir. But wait. So your captain choices for game week nine and Danny, I'm very pleased uh, to hear that you have picked out Harry Kane, even though he's at home.
So your captain choices for game week nine. And Danny, I'm very pleased uh, to hear that you have picked out Harry Kane, even though he's at home. I cannot believe the audacity of this guy to upload videos that he's had no hand in making. And the most he ever does is maybe edit it slightly to have things in the right order and some graphics showing up on the screen. There's a reason he's managed to do 88 videos. It's because he's putting hardly any work into these videos and just ripping them off the official FPL website and Facebook page. Yeah, many thanks to everyone who's sent in questions via Twitter at official FPL. Time for Danny to provide some answers. Let's see. Up first, we have Emily Organ, who says, with Danny Rose back, he's been on the bench the last two games, should I be worried about Ben Davis? Yeah, many thanks to everyone who's sent in questions via Twitter at official FPL. Time for Danny to provide some answers. Let's see. Up first, we have Emily Organ, who says, with Danny Rose back, been on the bench the last two games. Or should I be worried about Ben Davis? Meanwhile, content creators like me, content creators like you love, that are also in the FPL community, are spending time doing researching, they're spending time doing graphics, they're spending time filming it, they're spending time editing it, and then they're spending time making sure everything is right for the video when it uploads, and also live streaming. And this guy comes along and just takes someone else's work. Yes, it's very professionally well done, but it's someone else's work and just uploading it. And then he does put in his about page, this channel isn't officially linked with official FPL, it's not my content, like that's going to make it okay. Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button, press the bell button and enjoy the latest updates from my channel. Hello there, it's me, Mark Southerns here, trying to answer your fantasy Premier League questions after game week over. We've got one fixture left of course in game week over, we've got Leicester and West Brom playing tonight. Hello there, it's Facebook Live, it's me, Mark Southerns here, trying to answer your fantasy Premier League questions after game week. We've got one fixture left, of course, in game week. We've got Leicester and West Brom playing tonight. That does not make it okay. You've used someone else's content to get you lots of views and lots of subscribers, and you have the nerve to put adverts, banner ads. Yes, he doesn't put video ads, but he put banner ads on it. And what has he done? He's done a little intro before the video comes up. Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button, press the bell button and enjoy the latest updates from my channel. And he might do some graphics instead of showing the actual video that is being played. Or he might just show Mark talking and pretend it's his content. Because if you don't look at that about page or you don't look at the description, you don't know he's not doing that. And the thing is, if he actually did something of value to the video, maybe he edited it, maybe he put new graphics up, graphs, all sorts of things, maybe I could see some value in it. Maybe he's taking someone else's work and transforming it into something new, but he isn't. He's just literally putting the content up there, not adding anything of value, and then doing a little intro with a computer's voice, so he's not even doing his own intro, apart from some graphic, and he's asking you to hit the notification bell and subscribe, and it's infuriating as a content creator. Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button, press the bell button, and enjoy the latest updates from my channel. No, 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 who and what and where, who and what and where. And what's more infuriating is, yes, if you did this with one or two videos a week, it would be annoying, but when I go and look at my Game Week 9 ranking in YouTube, I'm not on the first page apart from one live stream. And to be honest, that's only just got there. My videos that usually do around 2,000 views can go up to around 4,000. And the videos that usually get to a thousand views, they're failing to hit their mark and getting very little traction because I'm not getting any new eyes on my channel and my subscriber growth for the first time since I rebranded this channel has stalled. It's the first time in a week I've not gained any subscribers. And the reason for that is because he's spamming these videos because he's not making them himself. He can just put them in over and over again because for game week nine, he did 16 videos in a five day period. 16 videos in five days is not possible if you're making the content yourself and making good quality content. 31 videos for game week eight. Yes, it was an international break, so there was more time to make videos. There was about 10 days between game weeks and he made 31 videos and game week seven, he made 14. He is spamming his way into the top 20 search results for those game weeks and making sure no one else can get into it. The fact that he's even having an effect on the biggest channel in Fantasy Premier League, FPL Tips' views, is ridiculous because he's not doing his own work and it's just not fair. No, no, no. Who and what and where? Who and what and where?
Now I know this video may be coming off a bit like, oh woe is me, it's not fair, but I feel like something needs to be said because it's not just me this is affecting, this is affecting the whole community and everyone in it. If we look at the scene before this guy came along, if I did two videos a week and everyone else who was of a decent size in Fantasy Premier League did a video every week, you've got a couple of us, you've got me, FPL Tips, Kurt Yoy, FPL TV, Let's Talk FPL, we're all around a certain subscriber amount and we're most likely going to get in the top search results. There's five of us who are quite a big size who do two videos or more a week. That's about 10 videos, maybe more depending on the week. That leaves 10 videos for other people to be able to come in and get their videos viewed by the general public. And that's assuming all of our videos rank, so there are space for people to make an impact and grow and become a valuable member of this community. But this guy comes along knowing that Game Week is only searched for a week and absolutely spams the hell out of it, making sure he dominates the first page. And even someone like me on 4,000 subscribers, only 500-ish less than him cannot get into the top 20 results for Game Week 9 in YouTube. That's just ultimate selfishness, not letting anyone else grow in the community because you want all the views and the subscribers. And again, maybe I could allow this as a strategy, but the only reason he can put this many videos out is because the content isn't his own. This guy isn't just taking views from me and other big FPL channels. He's making sure no one else can break in now because he just dominates everything to do with FPL on the YouTube platform. He's making it impossible for small creators to grow. He's making it impossible for the FPL community community to grow and he's also making sure that no one is really going to take this community seriously as far as content creators when one of the biggest channels soon is going to be a guy that just uses all of the official FPL videos. It's a mockery of all the hard work that not only I put in but all of the creators that make FPL content put in because he's putting in no work at all while we here it takes me about three hours to do a good video for Fantasy Premier League. And then also if I'm streaming, it takes another two hours out of my day. This week, I spent about 10 hours of my life doing FPL content just to find out that I've been beaten by someone that's done 16 videos and knew someone else's content. No, no, no. Who and what and where? Who and what and where? So my call to you guys is if you are a big fan of mine or if you're a fan of another FPL content creator, then just take on board of what this guy is actually doing. I'm not gonna tell anyone what to do. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure I never view another one of his videos again after this, unless someone tells me something's changed. I'm going to ignore all of his videos when they come up in my suggested box, and I'm not gonna give him any more time of day after this video, because basically by clicking his videos, by doing this research, I've helped him a little bit. And I'm not gonna help someone that uses other people's content to grow on YouTube by giving them views. You're more than welcome to follow my example. You can go and carry on watching his videos if you really want, but I just want you to know what this guy is actually doing. And with that knowledge, you can do whatever you want. I'm not going to preach to you that you shouldn't go watch this guy's videos. You shouldn't go subscribe. If you want to do it, that is your own choice. However, I just want everyone to know the effect he's currently had on this community and I wish I'd done something about it sooner. The sad thing is, it seems like official FPL either don't know he's doing this or they're not too bothered about it. Now, I hope it's the first one and that when they realise that they do something about it because some of his first videos did get copyright claimed and I'm hoping they just have forgotten about him or they don't know he's doing it and he's just gone under the radar. So that's the end of the video. Sorry if it came off a bit ranty, a bit rambly. This guy has worked me up. He's annoyed me. And it's annoying just how hard it is now for anyone to get into that top 20 search ranking because of this guy. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to hit a like on it and share it on Twitter. The more people that share this and like it, the more people that will see this video. I'm going to take adverts off because I'm not doing this for monetary gain. This video is purely to call someone out for the stuff that they're doing on YouTube. So there'll be no ads on this video. Hopefully the beginning of it you enjoyed and we will get back to normal FPL content as soon as game week nine is over. I've been JNO, this has been me ranting on FPL today and remember, it's all about the game.